is another interview with yeah. <laughs> my son is saying yeah <laughs> Hi guys, today is another interesting interview with a Nigerian living in Canada. Before, she was studying in the Philippines and right now she's living in Canada. So we want to know what actually made her to leave the Philippines. Ow. So, here's our guest. Hi there. Good to have you on our live stream. Can you kindly introduce yourself to our amazing viewers? So, yeah, my name is Amma. I, <laughs> I live in Canada. Um, I work as in regulatory affairs. Um, oh, what? Regulatory affairs. Regulatory affairs. <laughs> yeah, um, for oh, a pharmaceutical okay. company here in Canada. For a pharmaceutical company? Yeah. Oh, great. What part of Nigeria are you from? Yeah, I um, evil, I would say. My dad is from Abia State. <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. So you speak Igbo? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, um, did you study in Nigeria before you left for the Philippines? No, I was actually living in the UK. Oh. Before I went to the Philippines and then from there to Canada. So from the UK, you went to the Philippines, and then from the Philippines yeah. to Canada. Mm -hmm. Were you born in the UK? No. You were born in Nigeria? Wow. So what made you go to the Philippines from the UK? Everybody studying in the UK, and then you came to the Philippines. Well, it was, I was looking to get into schools outside the UK, and um, uh -huh. I guess some people kind of advised my parents about the Philippines and um, I guess they knew someone that was studying there. And that's how I ended up in the Philippines. So you don't want to study in the UK because a lot of Nigerians are applying for the UK universities yeah, and you are there, you are coming to the Philippines. Yeah, it was mainly because of us, so it's quite expensive. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So, what course were you taking up in the Philippines? Well, I was in the pharmacy program. Uh huh. Yeah. In, in and the sorry. In the Philippines, I was enrolled in the pharmacy program. Okay. Um, what school? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I remember. Um, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> It was just because it was so, such a short time. Um, Lyceum, I think. Was it Lyceum? Yeah, Lyceum, yeah, not West. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> so, how was it? How was life in the Philippines when you were there? Um, it was pretty interesting. Um, it was different for sure. It was a big change. Um, like when you compare it to um, you living in the UK and then coming transitioning to the Philippines. So that was a big change, but it was nice. The people, I think, definitely was nice. So it was amazing meeting like different people. Yeah, the locals were nice and friendly. Great. So did you um, get to try the Filipino food while you were there? Um, yeah. I think, yeah, I did adobo, I think I tried. Oh, everyone adobo. <laughs> um, um, yeah, adobo was... This and how was it? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what about the language? Were you able to pick up some language? Yeah. I'm sorry yeah. if I'm not. <laughs> it's just been a long time ago. <laughs> how how um, long? Um, like six, over six years ago that I left, almost seven years ago. So. How, how long, how many years did you spend in the Philippines? Um, I don't even think it was up to a year. So that's why, uh -huh. I, <laughs> that's why I don't remember so much. Um, um, let's say, yeah. Salama. Salama. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> How did I know that's what you were gonna say? <laughs> yeah, I remember saying that. And Ma- was it Mahalkita? That's that's Philippine. Mahalkita, I love yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Good you still remember some words. Mm-hmm. So what made you leave the Philippines? Um, because, to be honest, the goal wasn't to um, stay there. Um, uh-huh. It was just, like, my goal was really to come to Canada. Um, so my mom just kind of went, like, oh, just go and see, like, try it out and see. So she asked you to go to the Philippines and try it out and see, or? Yeah. If I uh-huh. want. And, when you, ah! and when you got there, you don't like it? Yeah, it wasn't that I didn't like it. It was just, like, um, the job opportunities, like, uh-huh. I just felt like it was a lot smarter to move to Canada because they had a really good, like, transition into, like, work and, like, you can stay and stuff like that. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So, um... How did you process your papers to the to Canada from Philippines? Because I know some Nigerians would have to travel back to Nigeria. Um, well, no, and luckily for me, like when I was doing mine, it was, Canada wasn't really a popular place, <laughs> so I was really lucky. Um, it was pretty straightforward. Now they're a lot more so strict. It was what? Pretty Sorry. Straightforward. Okay. Now they're a lot more strict now because everybody wants to come to Canada. Um, yeah like when i did mine it wasn't like it was pretty straightforward um i just did it on okay. my and just going when you did yours it was easy yeah i would say uh-huh now so can easy. you tell us the procedures if you don't mind because a lot of people would want to know if they should go to nigeria or migrate from philippines to canada mm. I, would, I would it depends. Uh, if they want to go study, I would say that um, you should. You can, you can process it there, really. You can. You can process it there. Um, you can just go online and just the requirements are there. For Canada, things are a lot more straightforward, I would say. Um, the things that you they require you to have is just like a, um, a letter from your school prospective school so admission letter and then proof of funds and i think that's it admission so how did you get your how did you get your school online oh, oh no my friend i had a friend that i knew um as a kid from nigeria so i was like oh i'm looking to come to canada and she's like oh come to my school and then i applied to her school and then yeah. <laughs> like about a week i got my admission letter so yeah. So, um, do you remember how much you spent for the processing of the visa? Both processing and migrating over there. Well, visa processing is not too. It's like two about two hundred and fifty Canadian dollars because you have to do your biometrics, right? And then you for like application. And I think my admission was like seventy five dollars. And yeah, that's, that's that's it pretty much. It's not did you take the Did you take the IELTS? No, the English I, exam. No, I think for your first degree, for a lot of schools, I don't think you need that because like Nigeria is a English speaking country. So uh-huh. like, if you're not from an English speaking country, an English speaking country, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. trust. But if you are, then I think you can. You don't need okay. Yes, but I I still have to take my LTS because when I wanted to apply for my permanent residence, it's mm-hmm. required no matter what country you're from. You you have to take it. So. Okay. So when you were in the Philippines, what was the culture shock you experienced? If you can still remember. Mm-hmm. culture shock it's uh, it's just like it's it, it was a different country like I've never been in before so that's always a culture shock um, yeah I think that it wasn't as bad because I was in the UK and I had met different people from different parts of the world so like Filipinos yeah. like I've met, I met different people so 
I kind of knew what to expect. Uh -huh. So it wasn't as bad. It was just the food, I think, was the hard part. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So like, even when I was in UK, I used to eat. I used to eat a lot of Nigerian food. Okay. We had, like a lot of like we had markets and they sold yeah food, but I think the food was the biggest one. Okay. But um, during your stay in the Philippines, did you in any way kind of experience any form of racism? Mm, not really. Um, ignorance, probably. I but I don't <laughs> think that um it came from a racist place necessarily. I just felt like it was because they probably never experienced having like a lot of black people around. If that makes sense. Ah. So I, I wouldn't oh. call that racism. I was just oh. more like some ignorant oh. statement, but yeah. They were pretty friendly. To be yeah. How is life in Canada generally? Well, it's pretty good actually. Yeah, it's been it's been good so far. Um, it's cold. A lot mm -hmm. colder than anywhere else I've ever lived. So but it's everything's good. So, what advice um, would you give to anyone that is out there trying to um, travel abroad to study or to work? Um, yeah, I would definitely be like, do your research a lot more. Uh, is definitely do your research, have a plan. And even like, I know a lot of people want to come to like Canada as well. You also have to do your research because Canada is a great country. But if you don't know what you're doing, um, it's very, very easy for, uh, for it to be difficult for you to find work, jobs and stuff like that. So you really have to have a plan. You have to make sure you're doing, um, if, you, if you're a student, you have to make sure that you're doing a degree that is going to result to employment. Um, okay. So you have to have a career plan mapped out before the entire process. If okay. not, you're going to struggle. I find okay so um i forgot to ask you what made you go for pharmacy was it your your choice or your parents choice i think probably more of my parents <laughs> it wasn't really, i didn't mind it um but yeah i didn't actually end up studying pharmacy in, in, in Canada. But I changed okay. my mind. Yeah. So, um, you look great. I, I must oh. say. <laughs> did you did you ever thought you you would be where you are right now? Like. <laughs> no, to be honest, like, it depends on when you ask me. Like ten years ago, no. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not but you know i thank god for where i'm at right now and everything i have i think it's yeah. it's god <laughs> so um can you share with us any challenges you have encountered in your life what was what was the biggest challenge you have encountered so far and how did you deal with it um i feel like in life generally there's always going to be um, stuff <laughs> I feel like having that at the back of your mind that life isn't easy it makes you push forward so every time I encounter a challenge like even when I, when I graduated it was a little bit of a struggle to get my first job for example and even with that like just you know pushing through and just you have to keep trying that's how it is like you just have to have that mentality that I can more than like I can't I think just have that mindset that you can do it and just work hard and that's kind of like my my motto that's kind of how I am and it's worked by God's grace yeah so in conclusion you I know you've been hearing news and seeing on internet on what is going on in Nigeria <laughs> what do you have to say about that country? <laughs> I, really, I think I think it's sad. Um, I actually went back home about a couple years ago, and to be honest, I think Nigeria was a lot worse off than what I remember. Um, but um, I don't know. It's it's just terrible, and 
I also find it interesting that everyone like wants to have country and um, it might not necessarily be something good for the actual country, right? Because then okay. we're using like the educated, the bright people to other sure. countries. So I, I think that's not too good in the long run, to be honest, for Nigeria. Because all the, like, the well-to-do people, the middle-class people, are disappearing because they're traveling. So sure. I don't think that's really good. I know that everyone wants to be abroad, like I'm abroad as well. Mm. Um, but I think in the long run, it's not too, too great um, for the country to... So, um, do you support Biafra? Uh, I don't really know much about Biafra. <laughs> <laughs> me too. I don't know, See, but people keep asking me to talk about it. So maybe, maybe um, one of my guests you know ha has an idea about it. Yeah, because I, I feel like Nigeria's history is a little bit like complicated from what I see. I don't have any solution. Like I don't know what's going to make. It. Um. So like really, I, I don't really know if that's the best way forward it's, it's a lot more complex than you know some people live in so i don't really know what's going to happen to be honest to nigeria as well <laughs> so, so we've come to the end of this interview oh, thank, thank you so, so much Amma. yeah thank you i hope it was, I, it was a good interview it was tough and wow <laughs> <laughs> thank you dear and thank you so much guys for watching us hope to see you in my next interview